Hey, everybody, David Skreka here. Another a beautiful day down here. A little less action in the ocean today. Um, nice breeze down here. So next week will be interesting. Looks like, you know, this was supposed to be a big hurricane season. We only actually had five named storms in the Atlantic, which is, I think, about average. For the, you know, and it doesn't look like we're gonna have any more to the end of you know to early September. But next week one's brewing. It has it more west of here, and uh, anywhere from the Gulf to like kind of like the like Cuba, you know, whatever. So one of the models had it coming over here. But these models are just so you know, I'm gonna bore you with some information on hurricanes. I, I become kind of a uh, amateur hurricane expert living in the Bahamas. In the first two years, I moved to Eleuthera. 11, 2011, 2012, we had Irene and Sandy, and there were direct hits in Eleuthera, about category threes, like 115, 120 mile per hour winds. And the biggest problem is not that, okay, if you get a disaster category five hurricane, okay, that can be like, you know, pretty bad. But if you get like a two or a three, you're gonna lose power here anyhow for about a week. It's funny, because the power company's terrible here, but they're actually pretty good about getting you back up. Uh, after a hurricane. A week after a category two or three is pretty good, you know? So, partly is because if it hits here, it doesn't hit Nassau. All, all the power trucks can come from Nassau or even some from the states to help out. So, anyhow, so, um, so anyhow, uh, yeah, usually these things build off the coast of Africa. What's been happening now is action. I feel it when I was just walking around in the water. Uh, the water temperatures in a lot of the Southern Atlantic are actually between one and three degree cooler this year than last year, even with La Nina. So a lot of these ones, uh, things that have been building off Africa are just hitting the Canary Islands and, you know, those, those eastern part of the Atlantic there, and they're just dying because the water's too cold. So, um, and, you know, but it is supposed to pick up, and, of course, that mid-August to about early October, that's really the peak of the season. So, and really the real peak tends to be like that kind of middle of September. So we'll see what happens here. Um, so um, knock on wood, like we haven't had any hurricanes here. Like I said, really direct hits. Matthew hit Nassau in 2016. Uh, Dorian hit, um, destroyed Eleuthera. Sorry, destroyed uh, Abaco and Freeport in 2018. That was an awful one. And so we've been pretty lucky here. I think Wilma and Irene kind of hit more like the South Bahamas. But like, look at from 1992, to 2012, that, 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 like, 20-year period, I think every second or third year, Luther was getting hit. So after getting hit by seven or eight hurricanes, I think, like, uh, we were kind of due, right? And actually, from the mid-60s to 1992, um, uh, Luther did not get hit. It was a 26-year period. So I'm hoping, here again, knock on wood, we get another 26-year period. You know, because that would mean uh, we're 12 years into it. Another 15 years, you know? So, um, yeah, it's gonna happen again. And, and I guess the good thing about the town I live in is Andrew was a direct hit here, Category 5, and those are like once every 100 year type hurricanes as a direct hit. So, um, um, anyhow, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, um, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. So, um, uh, so that's a little boredom on a, a hurricane. So, yeah, okay, so Gold Stocks, Gold Stocks Prodigy. Uh, so this is a thing, a new service I'm, I've been working on for like six months. I've been writing the content, doing the content for it. So I have a link in both the YouTube page and on my website to the webinar. You got to put in your na name and address if you want to watch it. It's a 90-minute video. It's probably one of the best videos I've ever done. I talk about everything, about how cheap Gold Stocks are, about the Gold Stocks during Fed cycles, Etc. Etc. And basically, you know, um, it's only 17 bucks a month. And for those of you, I know a lot of you. I know I'm kind of well known through precious metals. So a lot of you who are just interested in that precious metal side of it, sorry, lifetime subscribers, I can't get it for free. But it's only 17 bucks a month. You know, so I yeah, would love for you guys to, to join it. It's just very precious metals focused, um, etc. So you know, we'll have to look at that. Uh, we'll have to see that as well. So. And I really believe it's great timing with, like I said, and when you see these past, I've done it here on my, on my page, when you see how well the gold stocks have done and during you know, the rate cut cycles, 
you know, in 2007, 2008 to, you know, after the, after the whole market crashed to 2011 and then 2019, 2020 to 20, basically to the summer of 2020, the first three, four months of that rate cut cycle. And then 2020, 20, 2001 to 2003. So when they begin to cut rates, um, gold, gold stocks tend to be the top performing sector. So um, I think it's excellent for that service. And obviously I cover, because I try to be more well diversified here, but that is a focused kind of service. So you know, I'm not going to promote it too much after this. But like I said, I'm doing this on Tuesday, or sorry, Monday. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll put the link. And then um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just like kind of just see who wants to sign up does. And if you don't, fine too, right? But I've always said I prefer if you did. And um, like I said, $17 a month, 50 cents a day, basically. What do you get for 50 cents a day nowadays? Not much. Um, so yeah, I guess, I don't know. Uh, tomorrow on the Wednesday uh, report, I'll do to talk about semiconductors and NVIDIA. Uh, and I'll do that as a, as a regular PowerPoint presentation. And because uh, the video reports Wednesday night. And yeah, I don't know, for now, it's like it was a slow day in the markets today. Kind of a mixed bag. Um, yeah, it looks to me like, you know, the S&P is right at the highs. The Dow tried to make a new high, then reverse. Are we seeing a double top? Are we going to see a move to new highs? So yeah, maybe that's the chart. The chart of the day would be S&P, Dow, potential double top, top. Very simple chart. We're back near the highs. Or, you know, is this just going to be a little you know, stalling out after this huge three-month rally? And then we hit new highs? Or are we seeing a double top? So that's the question, right? So I'll leave it at that. Seven minutes is long enough. Hope you like your little hurricane um, um, like education. If you ever want to move to the tropics or Florida or I'm sure I got some subscribers in Texas and other the golf actually gets hit more than anything. You know, because well, golf has two things, has warm waters and deep waters. So the thing about the Bahamas is okay, this is deep because this is the Atlantic. But to the west, those Caribbean waters of the Bahamas are very low. Even though they get warm, it's tough for hurricanes to pick up speed. Like all the hurricanes that are big come from the Atlantic. If they kind of come more from the west, you know, and go right up the Bahamas, they tend not to get too huge because they don't have the deep water to kind of propel them. So that's that's why you get those, a lot of those huge hurricanes that say, go, go to the Gulf and hit the Gulf Coast of, <laughs> sorry, Gulf Coast of Florida or Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas. The reason that they can be monsters is that Gulf gets really warm. Like the water here tends to get to about 85 and that Gulf water gets four or five degrees warmer. 88, 89, and um, and right now, by the way, it's about 83. So we're about two, and I feel it. It's like it's like almost like yeah, this is the warmest part of the year in terms of the water temperature, and it feels a little cooler than usual. So anyhow, little hurricane education. Look at man, you got to do videos every day. You can't just talk the stock market. <coughs> Everybody, take care. I'm gonna go have uh, it is hot again. I'm gonna have a little drink of water and Gatorade and go back to my place.